Hey guys, it's me, Courtney, from Know Your Produce, and today we're gonna to be making my creamy mango ice cream recipe. This is just two ingredients, and hint, if you have some of these lying around, it's time to use them. Let's get started. So it's kind of like an ice cream, but we're using mangoes and bananas to make this creamy, delicious frozen treat. So for this recipe, I like to use spotted bananas. Um, these are actually reserved. I'm gonna use these for baking, but once they're a little less spotted than these, I like to put them into a stasher bag and then just freeze them. And these are just frozen in this stasher bag. I can, you know, move them apart. I can easily break them in half. Um, if you have a high speed blender, they're gonna work perfectly fine in this. Uh, but if you have a different blender, you may need to break them up or you can even like freeze it into little pieces on a sheet pan that is lined with like parchment paper so that it doesn't stick and then just like freeze those little pieces. But these are really easy to break up. So I'm gonna show you how we make it in our Vitamix and then I also have the mango. So we have two cups of mango and I'm gonna do two bananas. So you wanna do one cup of mango to one banana. So let's get started. So now I added the banana and the mango into the blender and we're just gonna blend this. But we're gonna remove this and put in our tamper tool. So what the tamper tool is gonna do is it's gonna drive all of these ingredients down into the blade so that we don't have to use any liquid in this recipe. It's gonna make it creamy, rich, and delicious. And I just like to keep driving those ingredients right down into those blades, like I said. And don't worry if your Vitamix makes like some crazy noises, cause it might. We're gonna raise the, the, the blades to a faster, speed now because you can see that it's mostly broken up so now we're going to make it creamy. And if you can see here it's starting to get creamy on the bottom because we raised the speed. So we're going to raise it a little bit more. Now, if you heard those noises, don't be scared. Your Vitamix is meant to handle these things. Um, that is just the blades just driving it down into there. Our nice cream is all creamy and smooth. And now let's take a look. We're gonna take out the tamper tool. And we're gonna give a little look into there. So you can see it's nice and creamy. So now all you need to do is take an ice cream scoop and put it into your desired container. You could even put this into like an ice cream cone, which is fun for the kids. So I'm gonna show you how it looks. So what I really like about this is the banana is creamy, the mango is creamy, and the mango has that rich flavor that's gonna kind of complement the banana. So the banana is not gonna stand out in this recipe. So now we're just gonna take your scoop and then plop it into whatever you wanna put it in. I just found these cute containers at Home Goods, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. But <laughs> it's really big. It fits the entire amount of an ice cream in there, which is pretty awesome. And that is it. You have your creamy mango ice cream. You can just enjoy it like this. Mm. And it's so creamy and delicious. I'm. I love making this for the kids. The kids like to add their own ingredients. Um, my daughter likes to add in strawberries. It makes it a little bit pink. And it's just fruit. Bananas are one of those things that are frequently thrown away. So if you can, freeze them because you can use them for smoothies and you can use them for ice cream, which is refreshing and delicious. And kids love it too. It's so good. You can eat it like this or you can get a spoon. Whatever you want to do. You could put sprinkles on this. Like I said, you could put it in a real ice cream cone. But I just thought this was fun. So I gave it a good rinse. You could still see there's some stuff on the actual Vitamix right here. There's like a little bit of mango. So what we're going to do is just make sure it's nice and clean with some soap. Um, I have the piece on top put back in because we took that out for the tamper tool. So we'll make sure that's in when you blend to clean. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and... I'm going to go to, I'm gonna level it up. I don't know, I'm, I'm used to going slowly up. I'm gonna do that for like 30 seconds. Also lower it down like that. Let me turn it off. And then we're gonna go rinse it 
and then it's ready for its next use. So you could just put it right back on the base. Um, it's still wet, so I actually like to put this in the drain board next to my sink and let it completely air dry and then I'll put it back on the base. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and come back next Wednesday for another new video. <laughs> so good. Look how creamy.